Yeah. We have an interesting one from R.W. Nash. Uh, here's a tip National. for your viewers who may have a problem changing desktop resolution using NVIDIA settings. A common problem is that you can't save the settings. Here's how I get around the problem. I edit the menu entry for NVIDIA settings so that it opens using GK sudo. I then open Nautilus using GK sudo from a terminal and navigate to slash etc slash x11 slash xorg.conf. I renamed the xorg.conf, i.e. xorg.conf.back, B-A-K. All these wild words. Then you can save changes to the desktop resolution using NVIDIA settings. If you encounter the notification bar missing on any open window after you made the change, then open the backslash, etc., slash, x11 slash xorg.conf.back with GK sudo get it and copy <laughs> and paste the following line to your xorg.conf file to the section marked section screen o okay there's a, a lot of good info lots here. of stuff i think i think essentially we can boil it down to if we want to save the settings in uh, nvidia settings if you run it as gk sudo then you're able to hit that save uh, to xorg.conf file hmm. Pretty helpful uh, tip for sure, but uh, it sounds really technical when you get into all it that. It does. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. He says the method above worked for me, and now my desktop settings are retained. Whenever I log in, I've included four screen captures. Hope this may be of some help to anyone. Oh, we got screen captures. Retaining the desktop resolution. Maybe you have another method you could show on one of the live shows. We love screen captures. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull up any of these. And that's Roy, a.k.a. Scorpio55. Thanks for that great tip. Yeah, thanks very much for the mm -hmm. tip. Okay, yeah, so basically creating a backup of your xorg.conf file is, is critical before you make any changes. It's mm -hmm. very important because that stores all the information about your system as far as when you boot. Uh, as long as you have a backup, you don't need to be afraid because if you mess it up completely and you can't boot your computer, I actually did this today. So oh. I, I know, and it's all good. You keep a backup, right? And then when you reboot your computer, you can't get in, well, no harm done. You just go into Recovery Console, or sometimes it'll just drop you straight to the Linux prompt, and you just rename that. Uh, you delete the one that you edited that broke it and rename your backup back to the original xorg.conf, and you're good to go. So hmm. first step, back up your xorg.conf, which will require super user access because it's in the etc folder on your hard drive. Uh, and then uh, it goes into... Uh, just looking at the screenshot, uh, screenshots here, add ARGB GLX visuals to true. What was his reasoning for that? Now, I know on an ATI card that's pretty important, or has been in the past, but I've never had to do that with my NVIDIA card. Maybe it does it automatically. Maybe I just haven't thought of that. So, okay. And then you're right, GK sudo. So if, let me just, uh, let me just pull up my computer screen here. GK sudo. Uh, what, what were we, okay, well, let's go NVIDIA settings. If you've ever done NVIDIA settings, that's asking me for my password, to configure your video display adapter on Ubuntu, but then you reboot and it resets everything back to the way it was, and you lose those settings that you so cleverly set up. By using GK sudo, you have super user access, which means this program now has access to writing to your X configuration file. So you'll see down at the bottom there, there's a button that says save to X configuration file. See that? Mm. So by clicking that, now that you're GK sudo, you're able to actually save that. But again, you want to have a backup before you go doing anything like that. Mm. Anyway, thanks for the tip.